Mommy, Daddy here. Grab your chocolate milk from Daddy here. Over here, Jared. Over here, Jared. Over here. Jared. I'm not gonna record a lot. Just watch your head, y'all. Okay. This has 2J. Okay. Just gonna, it says 2J on it, so I'm just going to assume it's says Yes, we did 2J from S. That's cool. Okay, stop. That's awesome, Skylar. We can make a new paint. Oh my gosh, how much stuff is this? Yeah, just not squirting paint out. You put those paints back in the... I have to see Jared's cookie. I hope that's hot. Very nice cookie with the snowflakes. Skylar, do you need help with your... Oh my gosh. I want ah. snowflakes. Too bad. Do you need help with your... Hey, be careful. Let me open that because I have a feeling that's going to go everywhere. Very fun craft. <laughs> Chocolate covered Vienna sausage. I'm trying to get a close up here. It doesn't it doesn't know what to focus on. There it is. Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is Saturday, I had to stop and think, and uh, the sun is shining so bright that it actually has made my eyes water. So I have to hold the candle, the candle, <laughs> can you tell I haven't had any coffee? I have to hold the candle in my hand, I have to hold the camera in this other hand, and I, I can barely keep my eyes open. Um, this is the day that I go back to Maine, but I'm at Walmart right now. I want to pick up a few things. I need to get something for lunch and for my flight back home. And I'm going to probably pick up a few more craft supplies for Skylar because she got some paints for Christmas that she absolutely loves. And she's going through them fast. And I want to get her some, some paper also. She doesn't have anything but uh, copy paper. And that's not the best for watercolors. So I um, just thought that I would say hi to you guys. We had a nice Christmas. It was very small and quiet. And it was in my hotel room with a ridiculous pink tree taped to the wall. But the kids liked it, and they were satisfied with what they got, even though they didn't get their tablets from me yet. I'm going to look at the tablets again and just see if they, by any chance, got some in. But I doubt it. But um, I will be sending them their tablets. And they were good with that. So, you know, it's not the way I really wanted it to be. But it was nice. And uh, it's over. Yay! <laughs> Derek feels the same. He's been so stressed over this holiday. So, um, that's it. I'm going to go in and see what I can get. And I will uh, be chatting with you probably off and on all day long. This is going to be my follow me back to Maine video. Talk to you soon. I am so hot and tired. It's 75 again. And it's so humid. I did get to hear two awesome thunderstorms. Both like very early morning, like 5 or 6 in the morning, and picked up a few things. I got Skylar some extra paints and some new paint brushes. I got Jared some Silly Putty. He's never had Silly Putty. Everybody must have Silly Putty. And uh, very tired, just 12.30. We're leaving in about two hours, so it's going to give me time to um, make a lunch, and I opted for a sandwich because the bread comes in so handy for just holding the stuff together. Uh, on the way here, I packed all stuff I could eat out of containers and just don't have it in me to do that. So today will be the last day that I have some carbs and stuff. Tomorrow, I can't wait to have vegetables and chicken. Well, I had a lot of chicken while I was here, but vegetables and cottage cheese. Um, could have got cottage cheese while I was here, but just never even thought of it. Tired. Okay, I guess I will uh, talk to you a little bit when I'm at the airport. This is officially the hottest I've ever been on a plane, officially. I know I say it every time, but I should have known it was going to be busy before Christmas. I'm doing my hiding face. Um, this sweat is just, I don't know if you can see it. 
It's just, I, I am soaking wet. Camp, but it's not as easy. So not embarrassing. No. I, I, everybody on the plane seat. was like looking at me like, don't sit next to me, don't sit next to me. Um, when he dropped me off, I had to stand in front to get my bag checked, my bags checked for quite a while. Oh, and then, any seats that's open, go ahead and grab that it was seat. We're awful. Try to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh my god. And then the, Our my flight was boarding. And, and I was at the very end of a terminal. Like I had to walk and walk and walk. And, and, walk. and I couldn't have stopped. And I finally made it. And I. So hot. Okay, people are sitting with me. Oh, I hope nobody sits in the middle. I thought I was going to die. I didn't bother recording anything because I've been so tired. My um, first flight was delayed, and then my second flight was also delayed by a lot, by like an extra couple of hours. So um, I won't even be landing in Maine now until like going on 2 a.m. So I hope the people where I parked my car are still picking up passengers because I'm going to be without a car if they're not there. Anyway, not much else to say. It's just one of those fights. But hey, if they get me home, I'm happy. Hi everyone. As you can see, I am back home. I really didn't uh, do very much recording on that trip back home. That first part of the trip back to Maine, you saw how completely wiped out I was. Boy, I'm surprised that nobody offered to help me. I looked like I was going to die, and I felt like it. When Derek dropped me off, I had given myself a little bit more than an hour and a half to get through... Um, what is it called? I want to say customs, but that's so not it. Security. Plus, I had to check some bags. When I got in there, I almost died when I saw the lines. Just so silly that I didn't think of the fact that it was the day after Christmas. And, of course, everybody's traveling on that day. So, I was for over an hour and a half on my feet, and the last... 15 minutes was me trying to make it from security to the end of the terminal to get on my plane, which was boarding. I found out it was boarding when I just got out of security. So not only was I exhausted from running, if you want to consider it running, but I was so scared that I was going to miss that plane that it just, I mean, it just wiped me out. I would have actually gotten on one of those like carts that brings people but I couldn't find any there's nothing in that airport like a shuttle or anything like that so I just had to hoof it <laughs> yeah I mean I seriously thought I was gonna stop breathing I mean it was just awful so when I got on the plane you saw how hot and red I was and then after resting it took me that whole leg to rest and I did have two people sitting with me so I was so cramped in Baltimore when we landed in Baltimore I just didn't have it in me to do any recording and we had a big delay there so I was there I don't remember three and a half hours waiting for my plane the plane came and we waited forever and they weren't letting us on and we knew something was up I mean usually you're boarding as soon as the other people get off so come to find out something was with that plane they didn't want to take off with that plane again and they even said keeping you up to date but it looks like we're staying here meaning I was going to be spending the night in Baltimore and I was not getting a room I would have rather slept on the floor in that airport than go back to a hotel bed so <laughs> I was like oh I have pillows and a blanket but I I forgot that I had checked those items so I was uh, just like please please get us back to Maine so another Southwest plane that was done for the night ended up saying they would take us so I was so excited so they just made us move to another gate we were on the plane and we still had to wait a long time on the plane it was it was just long it was long and there were a lot of mad people but I didn't get mad because I'm just I'm pretty good with going with the flow when it comes to flying because I it still amazes me that I sit in this chair in this tube and I'm taken from here to there and land and I get there safe and sound so if they want to be careful with what plane I get on I'm 
all for that. They can do what they want. I mean, it's just, you know, I just think it's incredible that we even have the ability to fly like that. So I'm not going to question what they do and certainly not get mad if I'm late. So as you can see, my Christmas was a little bit good, a little bit not so good. I mean, I just, I really took it harder than the kids ever did. I just felt bad. I felt horrible that I didn't have my major presents for them and that they had to open up Dollar Tree things, except for, you know, the few things that Derek got them. I didn't record much of that because Derek is, he wants me to just watch and not through the eye of a camera and um, that makes total sense because it's nice to just sometimes not have the camera in my hand so I uh, I didn't uh, record too much of it but we did get to do our chocolate making and Skylar and I did a lot of crafts a lot of painting and she's even starting to learn how to make paper beads which I'm so happy about <laughs> and I will be doing some videos about that because when she was painting I thought these painted pages that she and I and Derek did, we all painted, um, Jared, no, video games, and uh, I thought, why waste this? So I ended up cutting those when they were dry and making paper beads for Skylar, and, and they were just beautiful. Hang on. What? My movie's done. What did you want me to watch? Oh, it's on channel. Uh... Let me look here. 293. I have no clue what I was talking about. <laughs> None. So, I'm so tired. So maybe it's a good time for me to stop since I don't know where I left off. But I've got to tell you, I've never been so sore from sleeping in a high bed. I don't sleep in beds because it hurts my back. Couch, I'm good. That bed, even if it wouldn't have been high, I still would have hated it. Because I just don't sleep good in a bed. And I don't care how many pillows I put behind me or I put pillows against the wall and try to lay on against the pillows to pretend like I'm on a couch. But that doesn't work. Not, none of it. it. I didn't like any of it. First of all, that bed wasn't even against a wall, so I had no choice but to just sleep in the bed. And it was so high for me that I could not sit on that bed. And it's hard to hoist this body up into a bed. So we learned a technique. And I even tried the trash can trick because the hotel people suggested that I turn the trash can upside down and use that as a step. But... The step was quite high, and the base of the trash can is only about this big, so I didn't like that idea. So what I would do is I would go to the side closest to the wall, lean against the bed, walk up the wall, and then when I got, like, level to the bed, I would push off the wall and slide my body onto the bed and then roll over. So... <laughs> Skyla got a kick out of it. That was the only downfall, really, of this whole trip, is that I didn't get to sleep comfortably. And then, of course, sleeping with Skyla, we go to bed so late. I mean, it's so awful that I just let her stay up, and we watch videos on YouTube, and just, we lay in bed and laugh so hard. She has uh, the best sense of humor ever. And, I mean, I just, I just love that. Love it. And I don't care. Is it okay that I let her stay up late? I mean, she's like up after midnight every night. I don't care. I'm going to pay for that room. I'm going to enjoy it with her. But then she still wakes up early. and she's, But she's so good. She gets something to eat out of my little fridge. And she got her, her craft stuff and sat in bed and did crafts. But then there was, you know, we had thunder two nights that woke us up. And, you know, it's so hard to go back to sleep when I know she's sitting there, you know, wishing that I could get up and play with her. But I, I did play with her a lot. That is for sure. So we, we had good quality time. And we're talking about me possibly going for a few days during her spring break, if that works out. But, you know, we're already planning her summer trip to Maine. I can't wait for that, and I'm sure I'll have her for at least a month. And anyway, I want to thank you guys all for, you know, making me feel okay about going on this trip, because you know, it, you know how much I hate to disrupt my routine. I mean, I hate it. I hate it. It just, it doesn't feel natural for me to do anything other than what I do every day. Every single day, same thing. That that is what I like. It's what I'm comfortable with. When I'm out of my routine, I get very messed up. But I know I have to do it because I have to be with Skylar and Derek and Jared. And I, I like to be there and I want to visit them. So I did the right thing by going. But, you know, for me to say that I'm, I'm completely happy the whole time I'm there would be a lie because I'm just, I'm so just 
anxious and worried and you know it's just hard for me to kick back and relax and have fun but I'm glad I went and I appreciate that you guys seem to understand my weird ways and I can't tell you how much that means to me that you seem to accept me as I am and I really do show you a lot of how I am and it, it feels good to be okay with that you know I've always tried to hide who I am all my life and now here I am on YouTube showing it all to everybody and you know, it just feels good to to be able to do that and, and be accepted and not care and not worry so much about it. So I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I appreciate all of you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm just so, so tired. I get to go to bed on my couch tonight early. I'm going to go to bed early. That is it. Oh yeah, so coming up I am going to do some more craft videos. I'm going to show you guys how to make the paper beads with painted paper. So those of you who have kids, you'll be able to make awesome jewelry that you can keep from the artwork that they create. Stick around. Please subscribe. I appreciate it so much that you hang out with me. You have no clue. No clue at all how much it means to me. Bye!